The Maya civilization, one of the most enigmatic and advanced societies of the ancient world, thrived in the dense jungles of Mesoamerica for over a thousand years. Known for their sophisticated knowledge of astronomy, mathematics, architecture, and written language, the Maya left behind a legacy of grandeur and mystery. However, it was their way of life, their vibrant cities bustling with activity, and the complex social and religious structures that truly defined their civilization. The Maya were not just builders of great monuments, they were a people whose daily life was deeply intertwined with the cosmos, their gods, and the natural world around them. The Maya civilization began to take shape around 2000 BCE, with early settlements emerging in the verdant lowlands of present-day southern Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, and El Salvador. These initial communities were simple agrarian villages, but over time they grew into complex city-states, each ruled by a powerful king. The transition from small villages to grand city-states was marked by advancements in agriculture, such as the development of terrace farming and the creation of elaborate irrigation systems. These innovations allowed the Maya to sustain larger populations and laid the foundation for the emergence of their great cities. Daily life in these city-states was a blend of the mundane and the sacred. The Maya were skilled farmers cultivating maize, beans, squash, and chili peppers, which formed the staple diet of their society. Their agricultural calendar was closely tied to their religious beliefs, with specific rituals performed to ensure a bountiful harvest. Markets thrived with traders bartering goods, craftsmen creating intricate works of art, and farmers tending to their fields. Women played a crucial role in domestic life, weaving textiles, making pottery, and preparing food, while men were often engaged in farming, construction, and trade. The grand cities of Tikal, Copan, Palenque, and Calakmo became centers of power and culture, with plazas filled with people, ball courts echoing with the cheers of spectators, and towering pyramids where rulers performed religious ceremonies. These cities were not just political and economic hubs, but also spiritual centers where the Maya connected with the divine. The plaza served as gathering places for the community, where festivals, rituals, and public ceremonies were held, reinforcing the social bonds and shared beliefs that united the people. The Maya were brilliant architects and engineers, their cities marvels of urban planning. They built grand temples, palaces, and pyramids, often aligned with celestial bodies. These structures were more than just stone and mortar, they were the heart of Maya social and religious life. The layout of Maya cities was meticulously planned, with the central ceremonial precincts surrounded by residential areas and agricultural fields. The pyramids, often topped with temples, were not only impressive feats of engineering, but also served as stages for religious rituals and political events. El Castillo at Chichen Itza, for instance, was not only an architectural wonder, but also a stage for ritual performances during the equinoxes. People gathered to witness the descending serpent of light, a powerful symbol of the feathered serpent god Kukulkan. This event was more than a spectacle, it was a profound spiritual experience that connected the Maya to their gods and the cosmos. The alignment of the pyramid with the sun's rays demonstrated the Maya's deep understanding of astronomy and their ability to integrate this knowledge into their architecture. The Maya also constructed observatories, such as the Caracol at Chichen Itza, which allowed them to track the movements of celestial bodies with remarkable precision. These observatories were used to predict solar eclipses, track the cycles of Venus, and regulate the agricultural calendar. The ability to predict celestial events reinforced the power of the priesthood and the ruling elite, who were seen as intermediaries between the gods and the people. The Maya developed an advanced understanding of time, reflected in their calendar systems. 
The Tozolkin ritual calendar and the Hab solar calendar regulated religious and agricultural activities, while the long count calendar tracked vast periods of time. The combination of these calendars allowed the Maya to organize their religious ceremonies, agricultural cycles, and daily life with great precision. The Tolkien, with its 260-day cycle, was considered sacred and was used to determine the timing of important rituals and the selection of auspicious days for events such as marriages, births, and battles. Maya scribes, revered for their knowledge, meticulously recorded history, religious texts, and daily life using a sophisticated hieroglyphic script on stone monuments, pottery, and codices. The Maya writing system was one of the most complex and developed in the pre-Columbian Americas, with over 800 distinct glyphs representing sounds, words, and concepts. These inscriptions provide a detailed record of Maya history, including the reigns of kings, significant battles, religious rituals, and astronomical events. The codices, made from bark paper, were used to record a wide range of information, from astronomical observations to mythological stories and genealogies of rulers. Although most of these codices were destroyed during the Spanish conquest, a few survived, offering invaluable insights into Maya culture and knowledge. The Dresden Codex, one of the most famous surviving Maya books, contains detailed astronomical tables and predictions of solar and lunar eclipses, showcasing the Maya's advanced understanding of celestial phenomena. Religion permeated every aspect of Maya life. They believed in a cyclical view of time, where creation and destruction occurred in endless cycles. Maya kings were seen as divine intermediaries, conducting elaborate rituals to appease the gods and ensure cosmic balance. These ceremonies, often held in the grand temples, included offerings, dances, and even human sacrifices. The rituals were designed to maintain the harmony between the natural and supernatural worlds, a balance that was essential for the well-being of the community. The Maya pantheon was vast and complex, with gods representing various elements of nature, such as rain, mice, and the sun, as well as aspects of human life, such as childbirth, war, and death. Each city-state had its patron deity, and rulers often claimed divine descent from these gods, legitimizing their authority. The Pulpol Va, a sacred text of the K.I. Shemaya, narrates the creation myths and the heroic deeds of the hero twins, revealing the deep spiritual beliefs that guided Maya life. One of the most important rituals was the bloodletting ceremony in which kings, queens, and nobles would pierce their skin to offer blood to the gods. This act was believed to open a portal to the divine realm, allowing communication with ancestors and deities. The bloodletting was often performed on special occasions such as the accession of a new king, the dedication of a temple, or the marking of an important astronomical event human sacrifice, although less common, was another significant ritual. Captured enemies, particularly those of high status, were sometimes offered to the gods to ensure victory in war, the fertility of the land, or the renewal of cosmic cycles. These sacrifices were conducted with great solemnity, as the Maya believed that the shedding of blood was necessary to sustain the gods and the universe. Despite their achievements, the Maya civilization experienced a mysterious decline. By the 9th century CEE, many of the great cities in the southern lowlands were abandoned. Scholars believe a combination of environmental factors, such as prolonged droughts and deforestation, along with social unrest and warfare, contributed to the collapse. The collapse was not sudden, but occurred over several centuries with different regions experiencing decline at different times. The environmental stresses on the land, including soil depletion and deforestation, likely reduced the agricultural productivity needed to sustain large populations. 
The reliance on maize as a staple crop made the Maya vulnerable to climatic changes, and extended droughts would have led to food shortages and famine. The abandonment of the southern cities was followed by a shift in population to the northern Yucatan Peninsula, where cities like Chichen Itza and Uxmal continued to thrive for several more centuries. The once thriving cities became silent, overgrown by the jungle, leaving behind a haunting reminder of a great civilization's fall. The dense forests that reclaimed the cities also helped to preserve many of the structures, keeping them hidden from the world until their rediscovery by explorers and archaeologists in the 19th and 20th centuries. The Maya city-states were often engaged in warfare, vying for power and resources. These conflicts, depicted in stone carvings and murals, show warriors in battle, sieges of cities, and the capture of enemy rulers. Warfare was an integral part of Maya society, driven by the desire to capture sacrificial victims, expand territories, and assert dominance over rival city-states. The warriors, often depicted in elaborate headdresses and armor, were highly respected in Maya society, and their exploits were commemorated in inscriptions and art. The capture and sacrifice of enemy kings were seen as the ultimate display of power, and victorious rulers would commemorate their triumphs with elaborate ceremonies and monuments. However, the constant state of warfare took its toll, leading to the destabilization of political structures and the fragmentation of once powerful kingdoms. The increased competition for resources, coupled with internal strife and power struggles, weakened the cohesion of the Maya city-states, making them more vulnerable to external pressures. As the Maya population grew, the demands on the environment intensified. Deforestation for agriculture, the construction of large monuments, and the needs of an expanding population placed immense pressure on the land. The clearing of forests for maize cultivation and the production of lime plaster, used in constructing temples and palaces, led to widespread deforestation. This environmental degradation contributed to soil erosion and the depletion of essential nutrients, further reducing agricultural yields. Soil degradation, combined with a series of severe droughts, created food shortages, leading to social unrest and the eventual abandonment of many urban centers. The environmental challenges faced by the Maya were compounded by their reliance on a hierarchical system of governance, where the elite controlled access to resources and made decisions that often prioritized monumental construction and ritual activities over the welfare of the population. The resulting food scarcity and social inequality likely fueled rebellions and migrations as people left the failing cities in search of more hospitable lands. The collapse of the classic Maya civilization serves as a cautionary tale about the consequences of environmental overexploitation and the importance of sustainable resource management. By the time the Spanish arrived in the 16th century, many Maya cities were already deserted. The remaining Maya people lived in smaller communities, their grand civilization a shadow of its former self. The Spanish imposed their language, religion, and culture, leading to the destruction of many aspects of Maya heritage. The conquest was brutal, marked by violence, forced labor, and the burning of Maya codices, which the Spanish friars deemed heretical. However, the Maya people did not vanish. Despite the hardships of conquest and colonization, they adapted and preserved many of their traditions. Today, millions of their descendants continue to live in Mesoamerica, preserving their languages, traditions, and cultural practices, offering a living link to their ancient past. The modern Maya continue to practice traditional ceremonies, honor their ancestors, and celebrate their heritage through festivals, music, and dance. In the highlands of Guatemala, for example, the Maya Kahe people still perform rituals at sacred sites, blending pre-Columbian beliefs with Catholic practices introduced during the colonial period. 
These ceremonies often involve offerings of candles, incense, and food, reflecting the deep spiritual connection the Maya have maintained with their land and ancestors. The story of the Maya is one of triumph and tragedy, of remarkable achievements and enigmatic decline. Their contributions to astronomy, mathematics, architecture, and writing are enduring legacies that continue to inspire awe. The Maya's understanding of the cosmos, their creation of a written language, and their construction of monumental architecture stand as testaments to their ingenuity and creativity. Modern technology, like LiDAR, is revealing even more about this ancient civilization, uncovering hidden cities and infrastructure beneath the jungle. These discoveries are rewriting our understanding of Maya society, revealing a network of interconnected cities with sophisticated agricultural systems and complex social hierarchies. The ongoing archaeological research is not only shedding light on the past, but also helping to preserve the cultural heritage of the Maya people. The Maya civilization remains a source of fascination and a testament to human ingenuity, resilience, and the enduring power of culture. Their story is a reminder of the delicate balance between humanity and the environment, the importance of sustainable practices, and the resilience of cultures in the face of adversity. As the modern world faces its own environmental and social challenges, the lessons of the Maya civilization are more relevant than ever.